Leah Chase is known for her spicy personality as well as the spicy food she dishes up at Dookie Chase. And maybe that's what they saw me, that push, <laughs> that pushy way I have. And maybe at this age I should give it up, but nope. When Mrs. Chase talked to the team from Disney, she says she was just helping them get the city right. You know, I just talked about things that would help them uh, with the movie. But as the premiere of The Princess and the Frog draws near, the similarities between Mrs. Chase and Tiana are becoming sparkling clear. I suppose you want a kiss. The lead character in the upcoming film starts out as a hard-working waitress and cook determined to own her own restaurant. The writers gave Tiana the spunky attitude that helped Chase achieve that goal in real life. I like women to be gung-ho and still act like women. She says it's a part of being successful. Not overpowering, but go at what you want. Go at it with all your might. You know, and if you don't get there, you're going to come close. Her thoughts on the movie? Uh, it is just fun and it's inspirational for children. I am so gung-ho on uplifting young people. And there's so much out here, but you have to help them get it. The movie showcases everything New Orleans, architecture, music, and especially food. You know, in New Orleans, we don't bring you in unless we serve you food. The idea that food breaks down barriers is a prominent theme in the movie. Problems always say we solve the problems of the world right here in this dining room over a bowl of gambo. Producers say that's another idea taken from Chase and her diners agree. We all come here around these many tables, but we're in the same room having the same fabulous food. So I think that that is a cohesive, a cohesive force for families, for society. I think that breaking bread together is one of the most important things in life. The movie is not without controversy. Some critics say Disney's first African-American princess is not black enough. Mrs. Chase's take on that? What is black enough? You are what you are, and that is silly. It matters little what color you are. In our race, in our culture, we all colors. She says another big thing for locals. And not only good for children, honey, it's good for our city. Whenever we can get people looking at our city, doing things in this city, that makes me happy. A real life role model helping a fairy tale princess show children how to make real dreams come true.